her tracks with what just gave police permission to do. For quite a while, there have been riots in the streets. Black Lives Matter has been doing it for a while, but it escalated as soon as President Trump won the election. The left has been in complete meltdown over the last nine months. Then when that did not work they decided to reignite the old tired racist and bigot mantra to foment more angst. On top of all that these liberal halfwits have also let loose the violent group Antifa to terrorize anyone with a dissenting point of view. For as long as the Trump presidency, we have seen numerous attacks from the out in the open rabid liberals and the subversive deep state. All of these are minions of the Soros globalism that we have seen spread through the Democrats and the bulk of the establishment Republicans. President Trump is going to change all of this rioting though. Advertisement This past weekend, there was another protest that took place in Berkeley, California, and of course, chaos ensued. The violent alt-left of Antifa showed up at the protest running wild and causing destruction. The black-clad anti-fascists sorry, fascists ran through the peaceful protesters and stormed the school and surrounding areas. According to reports, police were given an order to stand down, and law enforcement retreated to the perimeter of the park where Antifa was gathering. Well, now these destructive riots may come to a screeching halt after what Trump just did this morning. You see, during the Ferguson, Missouri, Riots after Michael Brown was shot by an officer the police used military gear to combat the destruction. Documents that were found by Fox News indicated that Trump is going to issue an executive order. This order would eliminate Obama's stand-down law. This will save many lives and the DOD and DOJ will head the handling of this executive order. Advertisement The document that was obtained continues by saying, the gear recycled through the Department of Defense's 1033 program includes everything from ammunition and vehicles to office supplies. Under that program, assets that would otherwise be scrapped can be repurposed to help state, local, and tribal law enforcement better protect public safety and reduce crime. What do you think of Trump dumping Obama yet again? Obama pretends to be president blows up in face in hilarious fashion. Barack Obama hasn't been able to get over the power he once held as the president of the United States. He spent his entire time out of office trying to rig elections and combat the Trump administration. He's very clearly a part of the resistance. Now in the catastrophic wake of Hurricane Harvey, Obama is doing something sickening to the victims in a desperate attempt to put the spotlight on him and try to take over as President of the United States. Advertisement In an attempt to paint the picture regarding Barack Obama and his shenanigans, we have to look back in time. In August of last year during Obama's last year in office, there was catastrophic flooding across Louisiana that inundated thousands of homes in Louisiana. The Governor John Bell Edwards called the flooding unprecedented and historic. He called a state of emergency as the flood killed 13 people. Louisiana flood victims that Obama ignored. The good, hard-working people of Louisiana were waiting to hear for the president and wanted to at least to hear condole scenes. This would have been a nice extension of humanity during the plight of the Louisiana people. What did Obama do? He kept shooting poorly all over a golf course at the very expensive club. Advertisement why is Obama ignoring us? Headlines everywhere read. Local newspapers even called him out, publicly shaming the Obama into interrupting his vacation to do his damn job. He should pack his bags now, and pay a call on communities who need to know that in a national catastrophe, they are not alone, the newspaper's editors wrote in Baton Rouge. The best part of this is what it shows. It shows the difference between the divisive Barry So Etoro and the compassionate Trump. What is the reason that Barack didn't respond to the floods? Share this story. Hollywood legend Jeff Bridges breaks his silence on celebrities attacking Trump. Oscar award-winning actor, Jeff Bridges, 
has shown no interest in jumping in the chorus of Hollywood liberals who are going after President Trump like rabid liberals. The famous movie star, who is very famous from his roles in The Big Lebowski and True Grit, discussed with the Associated Press regarding the issue of Hollywood liberals attacking the president. Advertisement Everybody has something different and unique to contribute to society and with different ways of doing it, Bridges said. Some people will be blatantly out there talking about their disappointments and ridiculing the way President Trump is acting. I'm rooting for him to do well by our country. I'm rooting for him as a human being to do the cool thing. Bridges also said that the health of the American children is the best marker to determine the direction of our nation. Jeff Bridges believes that we are off course and he is trying his best to cheer the president on getting the nation back on course. Bridges certainly isn't the first famous individual to elaborate on why he won't go after President Trump. In fact, one of the most famous actors in America, Matthew McConaughey opened up regarding Trump after the November election. Advertisement Well, they don't have a choice now. He's our president. And, it's very dynamic and as divisive of an inauguration and time as we've had. At the same time, it's time for us to embrace and shake hands with this fact. And be constructive with him over the next four years. Just because you strongly disagree with someone doesn't mean you have to viciously attack at every turn. It's not helpful just being adamantly opposed to everything with no legitimate reason. What do you think of what Bridges had to say? Democrat Senator End Liberals Impeachment Dreams with One Devastating Sentence On Sunday, a Democrat came to the defense of President Trump. Senator Chris Murphy made an appearance on Face the State, a local political talk show in Connecticut on Hartford's WFSB-TV. There were many moments at the end that were dedicated to what Senator Murphy thinks about President Trump. He was asked for his thought on the president's views on race. He said that he couldn't state what is in the president's heart. Of course, Murphy did lie when he said that President Trump was the most divisive -y president in our lifetime. This is clearly untrue because the most divisive president in history just finished his eight years. Obama was a proud racist who widened the racial divide in this nation. Advertisement Murphy invoked the birther movement as an example. The birther movement was an effort to marry together fringe, racist elements of this country with political opposition to President Obama, he said. And President Trump rode the wave of that sentiment to the Republican nomination. So he has knowingly played ball with those fringe elements. Murphy did say that President Trump's campaign didn't add racist feelings where they weren't prior, it just made it more clear who is racist. Advertisement Racism never went away in this country, it just wasn't acceptable in polite company, he said. And now, many people who harbored these thoughts about blacks or Jews or people who are in, the, LGBTQ community feel like they can say it. He was then questioned about the latest liberal attack on President Trump. The questions about his mental health have been very clear from the beginning. It's all about the coordinated attack on Trump. Russia didn't stick racism didn't stick, so now they're trying the mental health angle. It won't work. You can't impeach somebody for doing what they said they were going to do as a candidate, he said. And whether we like it or not, he is fulfilling a lot of the reckless promises, or trying to fulfill, a lot of the reckless promises that he made during the campaign. What do you think of Senator Murphy coming to the defense of Trump? Breaking top Republican finally makes move to protect Trump from Mueller's witch hunt. Republican Rep. Ron DeSantis is putting forth an amendment to massively reduce the abilities of Robert Mueller and his special counsel. You know, the counsel that is still investigating the Russia ties that have already been disproven multiple times under oath. DeSantis has put forward a provision that would halt funding for Mueller's probe six months after the amendment's passage. It also would prohibit Mueller from investigating matters that occurred before June 2015, when Trump launched his presidential campaign. Advertisement 
The amendment is one of numerous that were included in the government spending package. The House will review the packages when they get back next week from their sweet vacations. The provision is not promised a vote on the floor of the House. The House Rules Committee has the ability to throw the amendment out if they feel it is far out of the realm of the bill. The Republican Representative's office hasn't given any public comments regarding his amendment. Advertisement Of course, the Democrats are loading up amendments to boost the Mueller investigation. They are still so desperate to make anything stick to Trump, but he is like rubber, it all just bounces off. Rep. Ann Custer of New Hampshire is pushing an amendment to boost funding for the investigation by 10 percent. And Rep. Nita Lowy of New York, ranking Democrat on the House Appropriations Committee, proposed a measure to prohibit the Justice Department from obstructing Mueller's work. Of course the traitor Paul Ryan is a huge supporter of Mueller. Ryan is another globalist that has entrenched himself in the GOP in an effort to align the Republicans and Democrats to the same globalist goal. What do you think about what DeSantis is doing to protect the president? How many more times will the Democrats keep throwing the Russia lie at the public?